Hey guys, so it's April again, and um, New Year has been. So this is an entirely new turn for the um, weight update thing. I've forgotten the name of the series already. It was a journey to a healthy life or something. So anyway, I've gained a lot of weight over Christmas, and um, I don't think I'm going to catch up with that um, little log I had of how much I should weigh. I think by now we're supposed to weigh what like. I've already lost a stone, <laughs> um, no, I've gained weight, so I'm, I'm going to make a new um, schedule right now, so yeah, just going to quickly make that now, and then I'm going to explain it to you. To make this, um, I'm going to, in the little margin, I'm going to write the, di well, I'm going to write today's date, no, I'm going to write the date on Monday, so it's, it'll be the 16th, Monday the 16th of January, so I'm going to write that, because that's when I want to properly start my diet, so imagine, I like, can't decide how far down I want it, and then I'm going to write, right by that day, today is Thursday, so within four days, I want to weigh 10 stone 11, which is my current weight right now. It was um, it was um, 10 stone 10, but I've gained a pound, so 10 stone 11. So I want to stay this weight because I'm having a fun weekend this weekend. Blind server, so we're probably going to pick out some. Gonna write little columns. Gonna write a little column on called expected weight. I bloody hate this ruler, but someone gave it to me at college, so you know. Right, so. Right, so. If you can see this, you probably can't, but that's the date next Monday. Then I've got a column saying expected weight, actual weight. Did I meet my EM target? So. So, under expected weight, I'm going to put that I want to me. 10 stone 11, so I'll be next uh, Monday at 16th of January. 10 dot 11. See? Now, then, I'm going to say two weeks after that, which is 30th of January. I'm going to write that next. So, 30th of Jan, I want to be, what's, how much do I want to weigh two weeks after? I've got 10 stone 9, two pounds good enough in it, two weeks after. Right, so 10 stone 9. And then you keep creating the dates and writing next under expected weight, what you want to be, that's what I'm doing, okay? Um, it's up to you whether you do this as well or not. In some ways it can be bad for you, some people end up with things like bulimia for doing this because they end up really desperate to get to that weight but I'm pretty sure I won't. So anyway, next I'm um, on 13th of February. Hi guys, so I've made the update thing, the um, piece of paper thing, and basically um, by the 31st of July, I want to weigh nine stone two. Um, so yeah, I'll put it on the screen here, like, or here, wherever. A picture of the, or on the alt screen, just to show the pic a picture of the piece of paper so you know what it looks like. You know, the full details of when I want to have weight lost by. Uh, almost halfway through the weight loss, there's a little like standpoint where for like four weeks 
feathers um, I'm staying the same way and that's just in case I don't manage to keep up with the entire thing you know if I'm a bit lazy these few weeks and I just don't keep up with it there's this little catch up section if that makes sense to let me give me time to catch up to what I'm supposed to be um, if I manage to you know exceed that weight so far um, if it says 10 stone 7 on 13th of February and by 13th of February I'm 10 stone 5 then brilliant That's, that'd be fabulous okay so I'm trying to lose as much weight as possible but the dates listed on here at the minimum I want to be okay I'm gonna get back to uni next week I'm gonna stick this up on my notice board so it's so I can always see it and hopefully I'll stick to it this time I think I will stick to it um, so yeah also recently I bought a well, my mum bought me a um, soup maker to make soup with where you literally just throw all the fruit and vegetables into the thing and it just makes it for you so it's basically like there's hardly any fat or anything you know you don't put fat in it it's all the only ingredients are what you've put in it yourself okay so hopefully that's going to help me lose weight because I was hoping you know I could have soup every, almost every day for dinner all I'm literally that then all I'm literally having for dinner is fruit and not fruit veg that'd be good that'd be very good because you know it's much better than the coronation chicken sandwiches with the Doritos and you know it's, and chocolate it's a much better idea so yeah I'm quite upset that I haven't lost any weight but you know hey ho as long as I don't gain any weight, any weight from now onwards I should be fine. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Anyway, please like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Comment below to let me know what you think of this plan and if there's any improvements you think I should make. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye.